the meaning of uh, various points of major release on the bridge, this is very often misunderstood and subject to much arbitrary rules. The fact is there is a number of releases um, on the bridge and achieving one of them means one has reached that release does not mean one has reached the absolute totality of never having ever to confront anything whatsoever on that level again. An example is communication. You complete grade zero and then you achieve the ability of grade zero, which seems for the person for the time being the ability to communicate with anyone on anything and to s receive such communication. Okay, about releases, once you realize that those are simply means that a part of the bank has gone. And while it may seem that one has the absolute of that ability at the time, it is simply not so. There's two reasons for this. Is first of all, it is unrealistic um, that one no, scratch that. Um, there is a cultural aberration where one may not have handle the part of his bank that deals with a certain pro um, area of difficulty, communication problems, uh, guilt. However, there might be a cultural aberration where someone still cannot communicate. For example, talking about sex is very taboo in societies and even if someone was to become grade zero, it's very possible that someone would not be able to freely communicate. I mean, if you, would you feel truly comfortable to talk um, about anti-Semitism to a fanatical rabbi? Um, this might be um, cause so much problem. At any rate, the states of release mean simply a part of the bank has gone. And sooner or later, the next part of the bank will restimulate. The next level of case will restimulate. And this might give the evidence that there is something there when it isn't. An example is OT3. One handles all OT3. And then some more stuff comes in restimulation, which is handled by knots. And one mistake that has been done in free zone circles is to think that OT3 and knots are the same level and to use knots technique or approach to deal with OT3. And this is quite wrong because the OT3 has a very limited amount of tools simply because you cannot deal with that entry in a composite case. Um, you can only deal with the entry of that composite case with the techniques given on that level. And you need to go into a brand new level with all the available techniques to address those. And if you try to start to look for things that are beyond what the OT3 material give, you're going to sooner or later get into a lot of trouble. And a lot of people have a misunderstanding that because you can get away with something, then because it works, then you is the right thing to do. You may as well apply the same logic to driving. I'm sure you can get away with driving at 120 miles an hour in a 60 mile away zone. Some people do it every night on Friday nights. But sooner or later, you're going to have a deadly result if you do that. And that's the same thing. If, a, if some cases might respond to this, then some will not. And now you will really be in the soup with those. And what do you do? If you have this anything goes approach, you'll never solve those cases. And then, of course, you'll sweep them on the carpet as failed. Or oh, those guys will find other practices because the tech doesn't work when it was simply not applied right. So the simple fact is the if you apply a very strict methodology and a standardized approach and a very uh, rational approach that use 
proven methods of approach, then you can always resolve any case. Because if you have this, it works on a couple of cases, or it works on me, let's apply it. When it starts to go wrong, then you're really in a suit because you will never be able to solve the case because you have done something non-standard and the only way to repair the case now is to go back to a standard approach and then repair them and unless it's expertly done you will generally leave bypass charge or the person will eventually lose interest or you'll or you'll simply decide to ignore that area of the case so when you have a standardized approach using a proven path then the end result is you can solve any and all cases and those who say Cases are different, therefore you need different approach. Yeah, you may as well say the same thing. I mean, people have different bodies, but let's face it, the med doctors have the same approach, even though people have very different conditions, because they all are living human beings. And the principle of all things are based on the laws of the universe. And unless you move away to another universe, and tell the truth, I've never met someone living in another universe, because if they were, they simply wouldn't be available. <laughs> um, then the fact is, the, um, the universal laws apply, and it is completely silly to say that cases uh, don't respond the same. Uh, you may as well say that cars don't respond the same, therefore some of them answer to gravity and some of them don't. Or you may as well say that, well, people are different, therefore, um, someone by walking into um, a furnace will be on scat and someone will be. I'm sorry, that's a pretty primitive reasoning because you know very well that's not the case. And I base myself on many more years of experience than any of those guys do to say that when you have a standardized approach, it works on everyone. And I haven't met anyone it did not end, that did not answer to that approach. Some of them needed a lot more work than others, for sure. But I've not met a single person that did not answer to the same basic approach. Now, another thing I want to mention is on a state of clear. There's some misunderstanding that clear has to be determined from a little bulletin somewhere. And it says this just a bit like you try to determine in uh, religion by quoting a phrase from the good book, whether it's the Bible, the Quran, to say whether something is right or wrong, instead of understanding the entire philosophy behind it and then saying what is right or wrong. Therefore, you have people who use the Bible, who, I mean, if you read the message given there, it says to love others. And they are preaching hate because they read that little pet phrase that they love and it's a form of hobby horsing where they become fixated on this and then they say this is this which is nothing else actually than an implant command uh, being in stimulation so those people they simply use this little pet quote all clear is this and that and therefore based on that one bulletin then they're going to say you're clear or you're not clear the church and to decide people are not clear because of a bulletin somewhere, an, an obscure quote somewhere, the free zone tends to do the exact opposite, which is nearly as equally wrong. So they say, well, the person has mentioned this one thing there. And of course, they disregard the fact that there's a huge amount of case discussion. People the, discuss a clear cognition openly in front of non-clears, and then the non-clears, oh, of course, everyone knows that, and of course, everyone tell him it's obvious. Therefore, he has this, and then, you, of course, he has this clear, having it achieved without ever unburdening his case or ever running anything deep on his case. He still has gross aberrations. He doesn't do any much better in life. He says, well, clear is clear. No big deal. And of course, there it goes. The verbal data spread that clear is no big deal. It's it's something, you know, everyone achieves. It's no, not a huge change. And then, of course, then they go on and they do the bridge and then not much um, get done. And of course, they do the OT levels, so OT 1, 2, and then they become fascinated. Oh, yeah, I would like to do the clearing course. 
platen the zoyet. Yeah, that really indicates. They haven't realized the guy never went clear. That's why he's interested, because clearing course. The clearing course is designed to make someone clear, and that's the point that purpose of the clearing course platens. So if you run them, then you're going to be clear. And then if you have achieved clear, why should you be interested more? I mean, if you have eaten until you're full, are you still hungry? Well, that's the same principle. And what is a problem? When you start to do a non-standard approach based on an unusual solution, and these things have been tried a lot of times, and it has always proven to be a blind alley, and because, again, because some Ks will respond to anything, actually some Ks will respond to garbage. And they, if there was even an author apparently that were telling people to drink urine to help them get better, and some of them even said they improved thanks to that practice. So there are some people who will say that anything give them result. But the point here is that if um, the point on clear is this that one, 